Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a very fun design team project to share with you guys for Angel Dreams Crafts Kim on Etsy. Kim has a beautiful store on Etsy where she sells laces and trims, papers, flowers, doilies, embellishments, bling, gorgeous laces and trims. Just so much fun stuff that we can use on different craft projects. And if you guys open up that description box below, I have all of the links that you could possibly ever need. I have a link to Kim's store on Etsy, which will be kind of the first link that you see. I also have links to her Facebook page where she has a nice group that you can belong to and get every once in a while get sneak peeks of upcoming projects. Also see what other people are working on using products from Kim's store. I also have a link to her Instagram account where you can also see design team photos. You can see um, products that are new in the store and upcoming news about sales and events like that. And then also I have links for the other ladies who are participating on her design team and they create some gorgeous projects. So if you aren't subscribed to their channels, I definitely recommend subscribing to their channels. And I also have links for past design team projects. Um, which of course I love having people go back and revisit some of my past design team projects. And I also will ha include a link on a paper bag journal and how to put the basics of how to put one on there because I do have a tutorial on that. And that is what I decided to create today is a paper bag journal. I love creating these where the base is created with paper bags and then I also in this particular one intermixed a couple of pieces of tea dyed or coffee dyed paper inside of here also so that there be some more spots for journaling. And the fun products that I use from Kim's store for this journal today is she does have some wonderful paper pads in her store. And I use this Wonderland six by six paper pad. That's the main paper pad that I use today in this journal. And then a while back I had also created some tags and little ephemera pieces using this paper pad that was in Kim's store. And so I d am showing this also. And then as I go through this, just know that all of the laces and trims that you see on this journal do come from Kim's shop. The only thing that came from my own personal stash besides like the, the paper bags and a little bit of the cardstock, um, this this trim right here that I use as my closure, that was from my own personal st stock. And then the eyelash trim or the yarn. And then also the cheesecloth is from my own personal stash. But any of these bits and pieces of laces and trim as I go throughout the whole journal, those all come from Kim's store. She has such a nice wide variety of laces and trims and they're so much fun to cut up and use on your journals. And this was a fun one that she had kind of a little bit, this was a wider one. And I love these wide laces. They're perfect for wrapping around a spine to kind of cover up your binding. So you can't really see how I bound this book with the pamphlet stitch because I put this beautiful trim over it. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is that I did dye all of these laces and trims. They are tea dyed. The majority of these trims that you see in here all are white if you were to purchase them in Kim store and they, they hold dye nicely. So whether you tea dye or coffee dye them or if you choose to use some sort of reinker or like a spray to, to color them, they all dye really nicely. But for this journal, I kind of wanted to go with a vintage grungy type style. And so that's why I chose to dye all of my bits and pieces. So on the cover, you can see I use quite a few different little bits and pieces. There's some of the paper collection. Um, the image did come from, from Pinterest. And she has these really fun glass cabochons that are perfect for adding to journal covers or the centers of flowers. And then you can see some more of that beautiful Wonderland paper on the back side. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And so right away when you open it up in each of the covers there is a pocket from the paper bag that opens. And here's some ephemera that I had made previously from one of the papers from Kim's shop. Um, all the, like again, all the laces and trims that you see in the papers 
other than the cardstock that I used. That all comes from Kim's shop. And this one was kind of a circle embellishment that I used a brad to hold. And then you slip it open like this. And then there's a little pocket in here with some tags in it, which is kind of a fun, fun little element to add to your journals. And then, of course, you can tip it over and then you have this extra journaling space on the back side of it. So I included that in the pocket. There's obviously more room for more items in here if you wanted, but it was already getting kind of chunky. So I had to be careful on how much I stuffed in each of the pockets. And so again, you can kind of check out the next page. I have some, the, Kim's shop has so many fun little cut apart cotton trims that you can use. I bunched up a trim here. You can see one hanging out on the journal card. I added some of the paper up there. And then also on all of the papers, the coffee dyed or the tea dyed papers that I used, I did go ahead and stencil on them. On In this pocket, it's just a single pocket. It looks like there's two pockets there with the music paper, but it's I, I sewed them together. And this one, I just have a cute little journal card in there. And again, you can journal on the back side of that one. I created a lot of little paper clips for this journal. So here was one. I added some music paper. I added some of the bits and pieces from the paper collection. And then also bits and pieces from different laces and trims. And most of them I did go ahead and add some eyelash trim. And then also the cheesecloth just for a little added texture to them. And again, that is a paper clip. And then I stuck one of my previous ephemera pieces in on that page. And then I didn't really do much else to the actual pages. Some of them I might have put a little embellishment on them because I wanted to make sure that there were spots to journal on. And so here is a little tiny paper bag in this journal. And again, I decorated it with a little cluster using products from Kim's shop. And when you open this up, I have a little paper, paper bag or pocket that I just added a tea dyed or this one's coffee dyed. Kim did sell in her shop she did have a coffee dyed set where she had all sorts of fun coffee dyed papers and she added, you know, a couple of tags in there and she had envelopes and um, this trim was part of that kit too. I think when I'm filming this, she still had it in the store, but um, when this video actually goes live, I don't know if it still will be in there or not. Her store is pretty popular, so she does sell stuff fairly fast so my recommendation always is if you see something that you really like to put it in your cart and make sure you purchase it because it might not be there the next week and again another fun trim from her store this one was like an insertion lace where there was a spot here where you were supposed to like weave a, another piece of ribbon in and out but I cut it in half and tea dyed it and then used it on the edge here with kind of a little paper cluster. Um, Kim also does sh sell vintage book pages and dictionary pages in her store, music paper too, um, which is always fun. Another little journal card inside of that paper bag. On the back side of this one, I do have a flip out and I didn't do anything here because when you actually use the journal, like if you, if you went to a movie or a a play or something you could you could still use spots like this to glue down little things like this or a small picture um, just depending upon how you use your journals um, again some more writing space right here I just ripped up a little piece of that Wonderland paper and added it up there another fun little cluster that I created here using bits and pieces of trim and then the eyelash trim and the cheese cheesecloth on there also and on this one, again, I created another paper clip. These are really fun paper clips to make. You just use, you know, music paper or dictionary paper, old book pages, and then take bits and pieces from the Wonderland paper collection. And then you just kind of sew around it a couple of times. And then you go ahead and add your bits and pieces to decorate it up. And then here's another little journaling spot to journal on. And then again, another little small paper bag that I decorated both sides. This one, I just kind of did one little small cluster there. Again, I just was trying to make sure I left space to journal on. And then I included another one of those little pockets with a tag inside of here. And on the back side, another little cluster. Again, I just have so much fun making these clusters. They're they're just so random using, you know, torn papers and bits and pieces. This was a bit piece off of a doily that came from Kim's shop. And over here, you can see I created a really fun belly band. Again, I added laces, 
or a cut apart cotton lace up here. Also a fun dangle lace at the bottom. And then this one, you can pull out the little journal card. And I left a little spot on here. I did some paper piecing so you could journal there. And then also, of course, on the back side. And these types of things I like if I can, if I have lace on them, I like to kind of leave them hanging outside the journal so that when it's closed, you can see that little bit of lace. Inside this pocket, just another, you know, master board type journal card, just using up random pieces of papers from the different papers from Kim's shop. And then right here, I created a little pocket. Again, Kim has all those fun cotton trims that you can cut apart. And so that's where that rose came on that one. Another one of these little pockets with a tag in it. And let's see, on this one, I created another paper clip that I'll pull off so you guys can check that out. And then another little fun journal card. And this is the center signature. And so I added some more of those roses that I cut apart from one of her cotton trims. Also, this was a fun trim. And I know that Kim does try, if she doesn't currently have it in her store, if it's a popular trim and she can get it back in stock, she definitely does try and get it back in stock. Or if you see something in one of our design team um, videos and you're, you're wondering whether or not um, she's going to get it back in, don't hesitate to, to contact her through Etsy. Um, to, to ask her just so you know if it is coming again back into the store and then she can let you know she like I said she gets so much fun stuff and um, they're all very popular I know all these little cut apart trims are very popular in her store so she does sell out of them pretty fast and so then on this page again I created another little paper clip and added another journal card and I'm not going into a lot of detail about the journal cards and the things that I attached because I do have a previous design team video where I talked about some of these in length. So if you're wondering why I'm not talking about them, um, just check out that video that I will also link below. It was a previous design team where I had used this paper pad and you made a bunch of junk journal elements. So um, that's all the little elements, that, like I said, that I've added. And then right here, I just added some more of that Wonderland paper collection and added some music paper behind it, added another trim from her shop. And then another fun little pocket with a journal card that I went ahead and added. Also, um, on the next page, there's more stenciling, adding bits and pieces of trim. Another fun trim right here. Here's one of her nice Venice trims that I cut apart and then layered a flower, cotton flower trim on top, another one of these tag pockets with the tag in it, another little spot. This one actually could be a tuck spot. I didn't glue it all the way down, but I didn't add anything there either. And on this page, here's another little fun piece from that Wonderland paper collection. They had all these little cut aparts on one of the pages that you could use easily. And so that's what I based a lot of my paper clips on when I laid them out. Another little trim that I cut apart. This was from the, one of those rose trims that had some leaves on it. And then another journal card right there. Um, another little layout using, this is part of a dangle trim right here that I had cut apart and used part of it before previously and I still had this left. So I love how that looks. And then this one I did create a little pocket right here with the page and then also the pocket of the paper bag. So that was the journal card that I used in this pocket. And then I tried to stick it so that you could see the little lace trim that was sticking out there. And then inside the pocket, I used another one of those circle, circle tags where you could journal on the back. And there is a pocket inside with some tags in it. And another fun little layout here using some of that paper, that Wonderland paper with the bird on it. Again, I layered a really fun trim on the bottom. Another one of those cut apart flowers. And I created a pocket. And here I just have another little cluster that I created. And again, you could journal on the back side of that one. And then the small paper bag, again, just leaving spots 
empty. Here I had another little cluster. And in this one, I stuck a little cluster that I ended up not gluing anywhere, but I just stuck it in there because you could still glue this down somewhere and use it in your journal if you wanted to. And on this page, I included a large tag, and that tag originally came from the, the coffee dyed kit that Kim was selling in her store. She had a tag in there, and so that's where that original tag came from, I believe. And some fun trim from her store on the bottom, and then another paper clip. And then this one I did kind of a flip out also where you could add your own ephemera right here as you were using it for your journal. And I had another little cluster down there. Then that's the last page in the journal. And then another one of those master board journal cards that I included inside of that last page. So I did have one last item that I wanted to share with you guys that um, my original plan was to put all these little notebooks inside of my paper bag journal, but because it got kind of fat and bulky, I wasn't able to do that. But I did want to share them with you guys real quick. It's just a fun, quick little idea to use for adding little junk journal elements to your journals. And that's just where you take a scrap piece of paper, which all these came from paper pads from Kim's store. I folded them over and then I added some eyelash trim, some cheesecloth, some really fun vintage trim from Kim's shop. And then I went ahead and added some of the cut apart trim also from Kim's shop, just kind of as my centerpiece up there. And then when I sewed these, these up, I had all sorts of random bits and pieces left over from past projects. And so they make fun little scrap notebooks to use. You know, there's some guest checks, some coffee dyed paper, some grid paper, some um, handmade paper that came from my dad that he gifted me a while ago that he had, he had gotten, he bought something that was wrapped in it. Um, this one I used one of her dangle trims on it, which was really fun. But again, just kind of the same random stuff, but they're really fun little notebooks to work with. And I wanted to show you guys this idea here. I had used up, um, I had a couple pieces left over from that paper bag journal that I had ripped portions of it to use on the journal, but I didn't use all of it. So then I finished up those pieces just to add here, um, just to add some fun little interest to these little notebooks. So some of them did have some of that Wonderland paper in them. So again, I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching today. If you are interested in any of the supplies that I use on today's project, uh, make sure you do open up that description box and you will find the link to Kim's store again, which is Angel Dreams Crafts Kim, and she is on Etsy. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.